Hey, good morning everybody, Dan here with Ledger Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export existing Ledger accounts from Ledger Live Desktop to the Ledger Live mobile app. Let's do it. All right, so before we jump into the video, just make sure that you are using the same Ledger device that you used in the past to create your desktop accounts. You also want to make sure that you are using the same recovery phrase. If the device is different and the recovery phrase is different, then you will not be able to restore your existing accounts on mobile because the private keys in your device will be completely different. So again, make sure it's the same device with the same recovery phrase or a different device, but with the exact same recovery phrase. Okay, now let's get into the tutorial. First thing first, I'm gonna install the app. Before we go further and we connect the device to the mobile app, just a quick check to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on the Ledger device directly. So use both buttons to open the control center. That's the control center here when you see settings on the screen. Use the right button here until you see Bluetooth. So here's Bluetooth. Make sure it says enabled here. If it doesn't say enabled, then use both buttons at the same time to change it to enabled. All right, good. Now. Close the control center. This is a very important step. Use both buttons to go back to the dashboard here. See, like this is the dashboard where you see all the apps. This is important. You need to be on the dashboard to ensure optimal connection between your Ledger device and the mobile app. So keep that in mind next time you are trying to connect and you're getting connection issues. All good now, I'm ready to restore my accounts to Ledger Live Mobile. And I hit get started button here. It's asking me if I own a ledger, so obviously I do. Set up my ledger here, so I'm gonna um, click that. Ledger Nano X. Uh, so here I don't wanna select set up a new Nano cause that will take me through the steps of creating a new recovery phrase and things like that, but I already have accounts and recovery phrase. I'm just exporting existing accounts Instead, I'm gonna select Connection Nano here. All right, so here's saying, please check the box contents. If your Ledger Nano X came with a pin code, the recovery phrase is not safe to use, and you should contact Ledger support. This is a uh, very good advice. Uh, new devices should come with a blank recovery sheet. If you see a pin code or a recovery phrase with words on the sheets, then this is a major red flag. It means that the device might have been compromised and you should reset it by typing three wrong pin codes into the device and throw away the recovery phrase. That's for new devices. Of course, if you already have a recovery phrase that you generated safely through the device screen, then of course, do not get rid of your recovery phrase. So uh, I'm gonna hit continue. It's asking me to pair the Nano here. Okay, I'm gonna say, let's pair my Nano and hit pair with Bluetooth here. I hear it's asking me if I would like to use Bluetooth. I say, okay. That's my device here, Nano X9E6B. If you're not sure if that's the name of your device, you can go back to the control center and the name of the device is displayed here. See, like the names match. All right, but again, I wanna go back to the dashboard, don't stay in the control center when you're trying to Bluetooth connect to the, uh, the mobile app. I'm gonna tap the, the Nano on my phone here to initiate the connection. It's giving me a code on the phone, 106578, and that's the same code on the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and stay on the screen here and use both buttons at the same time to confirm. I'm gonna tap pair on my phone here. Okay, so it looks like it's working. Now the device is me to allow a secure connection with Ledger. So this is also known as the authentication check. It's basically Ledger Live checking that the device is genuine and is not a fake device. So I'm gonna allow that by pressing both buttons at the same time here. Cool, so it says pairing successful. I can tap continue here, and I am on the dashboard. 
So this is looking very, very good. Almost there, almost got my existing accounts back on the mobile. And what I wanna do here is scroll down here and tap add account it's, uh, with your ledger. Now, um, basically you're gonna have to go account by account and restore all those accounts one by one. I'll show you how to restore my Ethereum account, for example. Tap Ethereum. The device is connecting uh, with the app, asking me to open the Ethereum app. I'm gonna use both buttons to confirm that. Asynchronizing, meaning that Ledger Live is just, you know, pinging uh, the device for existing accounts and um, it will return a list in just a moment. Um, I could, if I wanted to add a new account at the same time by just ticking that box here. I don't have to, I'm happy with just one account. I'm gonna leave this one ticked and tap continue here. Cool, all right, so this account was added successfully. Let's say I want to uh, restore my Bitcoin account. I'm going to proceed and tap add new assets, select Bitcoin and repeat the process. And that's basically the, that, that's basically how it works, right? So I can keep adding new assets if I want to. Now let's talk about troubleshooting. In this case, everything went well and the Bluetooth connection uh, was flawless, but there are cases where it will be difficult for the device to connect to the mobile app. So in this case, there's a few things you can do. The first thing you wanna check is of course, you wanna go into the control center and check that Bluetooth is enabled. That's the most basic step. The second thing you should do is reset the pairings. So you'd go into settings here and you go into security. Then you'll go into reset pairings, press that. Uh, so your Bluetooth pairings will be clear. It's gonna ask your pin in a second. And go to reset pairings. Yeah, it's got a little warning sign, but this is a little too dramatic. It's really no big deal to reset pairing, so don't be afraid of doing it. You can use both buttons here and then type your pin, type your pin to confirm. All right, now it confirmed that the Bluetooth pairing, pairing's cleared. Okay, I've reset the pairings. Again, I wanna go back to the, the dashboard here. Okay, don't stay in the control center. Again, never stay in the control center when you're trying to connect to Bluetooth. Similarly, make sure you're not inside an app like that, right? So if you are, again, you should be exiting the app and back on the dashboard. You should never be either inside an app or inside the control center when you try to connect to Bluetooth. The third thing you should do is go into your Bluetooth settings in your uh, phone here and your ledger will be listed here, Nano X uh, 9 E6B. That's the Nano we just connected. Then tap the I button and forget the device here. Back to Ledger Live. The last thing I wanna do is make the app forget about the device as well. You see my device is still listed at the top here and I don't want that. I'm gonna press the three buttons here and select remove device. Cool, so now basically I've completely reset everything, right? So the phone forgot the device, the pairings have been reset on the device, the phone app itself uh, has forgotten the device. So I'm completely starting from scratch and attempting a new uh, pairing via Bluetooth. So let's do it again and see if it works. Tap pair, that's the nano. Great, so you see I'm getting the device authentication check and it paired automatically, which is good. That's what I want. Tap continue and I'm good. Can go back to the dashboard and I can continue adding accounts. Let's try to add 
uh, a Binance Smart Chain account, for example. You see, it works like a charm. All right, so let me finish adding this account here and go back to the dashboard. Here we go. Here we go. So just to summarize again, if you are completely unable to connect your Ledger device with the mobile app, a few things to check. First, make sure the Bluetooth is enabled. Second, reset the pairings on the device. Third, forget the device in your phone Bluetooth settings. Fourth, forget the device on the mobile app. And five and finally, just make sure you are not inside an app, just like that, or that you are not into the control center like that. Again, you should be on the dashboard just like this. And then you can try to pair the device again with the mobile app and that time it should work. And that's it for the tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can reach out below and drop your questions in the comments. If not, we'll see you next time for the next video. Bye and stay safe.